Hello, everyone, and welcome to what has quickly become a Thursday night tradition in my household with my family, Music for Vermont concert with uh, the David Zuckerman campaign for governor and various musical artists from all over the state who are here to perform and support both our campaign and as a fundraiser to help them make a living in these crazy times. You can watch past concerts that we've had by going to my YouTube channel, Zuckerman for Vermont. And of course, it's a lot of fun to watch this with other folks and friends. So if you wanna start a watch party on Facebook, you're welcome to do that as well. Thank you all for tuning in. As you know, many Vermonters are out of work. Many of our musicians across Vermont are also out of work. They can't do those group events. And so we are asking that to support these artists, you consider contributing tonight to both our campaign and these musicians. We're splitting any donations tonight 50-50. So if you like the music, if you're in a position where you can donate, please consider heading on over to ZuckermanForVermont.com, Music for Vermont, and help out if you can. Every Thursday, we team up with a different musician, a different artist, a different performer. Uh, tonight, we have a great musician, uh, performer, and really master of an instrument, uh, Pitts Quattrone. He is a world-renowned master builder and performer and teacher of the didgeridoo. It's a great, unique instrument from Australia. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hearing more from him today. Yesterday, we had him on our daytime concert for kids, and it was a really great performance and a great teaching moment for a lot of us to learn more about the didgeridoo. You can always go back and watch that on our YouTube channel as well. If you're watching on Facebook, like I said before, please feel free to share and start a watch party. You can get some more folks in and enjoy each other's company while we enjoy the music. Let's enjoy it right now with Pitts Quattrone. Hello friends, good evening and welcome. My name is Pitts Quattrone. Live from the Swamp House with Pitts, a special edition tonight here on the David Zuckerman channel. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Uh, officially it's called something else. The, uh, the Thursday night concert series, virtual concert series hosted by David Zuckerman and his fine team. I want to thank David for uh, inviting me on uh, tonight, play some didgeridoo music, my own kind of thing, and I was on yesterday morning with the kids, doing a didgeridoo show for the kids, and that was a whole lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was, the kids love the didgeridoo, was, and everyone loves the didgeridoo, but anyway, uh, well, so I met David a few years back. I live near Adamant, Vermont. If you're not familiar with that, it's about 10 miles northeast of downtown Montpelier. So we have, and every May, we have a Adamant Black Fly Festival. And <laughs> figured, well, you know, if you can't beat the flies and you, there's no way you're going to, you might as well join them, celebrate them. And there's a really cool little co-op in Adamant. It's the Adamant Co-op. And uh, it's a big uh, fundraiser for the, the Adamant Co-op each year in May, the Black Fly Fest. So the Adamant Co-op, oldest co-op in the state of Vermont going back to 1935. Really cool stuff. So if you want to check them out, um, adamantcoop.org. And that, again, that's where I met David a few years ago. And I figured, like, if this guy, he's a, okay, he's a politician, farmer, He's a nice guy. If he comes to the Black Fly Festival, he's got to be cool. So, <laughs> and then uh, we we hung out a little bit, talked very briefly, but uh, hit it off right away. And uh, so I've been supporting him ever since. And don't forget to vote in the primary this August. August 11th is the primary for Democratic governor. There's three candidates so far, and uh, I I'm supporting David. Um, not telling you who to vote for, but just go out and vote and do your thing. Uh, the civic right that we have right here, still in Vermont and the United States. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, an hour of music. There's gonna be a little intermission. David's gonna come back in and, and talk for a few minutes. So we're gonna have a good time. And there's, um, there's a whole lot of things happening. For the, the David Zuckerman site, it's uh, Zuckerman4VT. Dot com and that's F-O-R-V-T dot com. 
And there's also this concert series is really cool. Every Thursday night at 7.30, different Vermont artist comes on. And because uh, we're all out of work now because we can't go out and perform. So David invites various people in and I'm lucky enough to be here tonight. So there's a donation uh a donation link and it's I, I think it's right up here on the screen somewhere and it's uh, zuckerman4vt.com backslash music for VT so check that out up there and the neat thing about that is it's it's a 50 50 split 50 percent of the donations come that come in go to the artist and the other 50 go to uh, David and his team to keep these virtual events happening and make sure that uh, the content is available online for everyone to check out. So that's all the stuff we <laughs> have to take care of, all the, the fun business stuff. And But um, now it's time for some really cool music. So there'll be some songs you recognize and some you won't, and all of them are going to be fun. So here we go, friends. I'm Pit Squadron. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to rock.
done, then the dig is either ready to go or he leaves it alone or it's too far gone. So um, that's the old school style of dig making. Termite's doing the work for the tunnel, then a dig maker chops the branch, brings it back to his house, <coughs> and and finishes it off there in various ways. So the oldest instrument on planet Earth. No one knows exactly how old it is, but it's very old. Didgeridoo. I'm not an Aboriginal guy. I grew up outside of Philadelphia, so <laughs> I'm playing this ancient instrument in the music that I grew up with, and that's what I do musically, at least one of the things that I do, and I love to put the didge in various types of music, but tonight it's uh, my own kind of deal. So next up is something that you may recognize this number, and we got it queued up ready to rock here with a really cool backbeat. Shoes off. 
name I call it the Beverly Hillbillies theme. So uh, this next number, dial it in here, this next number is uh, something I heard off of a, an old David Lindley record, if you know who David Lindley is, uh, fabulous multi-instrumentalist, uh, most notably Jackson Brown's accompanist, and a flashy dresser, and I am a proud graduate of the David Lindley School of Fashion, <laughs> if you got that one. Anyway, going back, David Lindley, uh, he takes music in, uh, all around the planet and, and kind of adds his own stuff and, he, and interprets it in lots of really cool different ways. So this next tune, uh, he got from a band from New Zealand called The Herbs. And the songwriter in that band is a guy named Carl Perkins. It's not that Carl Perkins, it's a different one. And uh, this one, David really uh, dig it, uh, dug it, and he kind of morphed it into his own, into his own uh, composition. And I heard it, and the song hooked me right away. So I'm gonna play it for you now. And this one is called People Get Ready. People, are you ready? Ja Reggae. We gotta make the most out of life 
No more murderation and strife, yeah. And when it comes down to the crunch, I say, oh yeah, ain't nobody gonna help you out. Whoa, ain't nobody left to help you out. Whoa, and we sing reggae every day. Because we like it, we like it that way And we play reggae every day Because we like it, we like it that way Ah yeah Like we got time for uh, possibly uh, one more number here. I think we're going to play one more number. Yes, one more number before the break. And this one uh, was by request from <laughs> uh, many people, and one in particular. Uh, her name is Ellen down in Maryland. So Ellen, if you're tuning in, she said that she gets up to this song every day. It's better than drinking a whole pot of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, so if you want to check out YouTube, go there and uh, Google my name or uh, search my name and move in. Boom is the name of the two. Ah, and I would like to say uh, thank you once again to David and his team for inviting me here tonight. And also, if you're interested in the didgeridoo, just go to myname.com, Pitsquatron, it's all over the screen there, dot com and uh, check out all kinds of really cool stuff. I teach, I make instruments, I do school shows. I do lessons on Zoom and FaceTime <laughs> across the globe. So if you're interested in, in uh, learning how to play the didgeridoo, I'm happy to help you there. And also, some studies have shown that the didgeridoo, playing the didgeridoo, uh, really helps uh, reduce obstructive sleep apnea. Wild stuff, because uh, the apnea, the obstruction, uh, I'm told, I'm not a medical person, a doctor explained it to me, that uh, in obstructive sleep apnea, uh, there's some muscles in your throat that are loose, uh, not really in shape anymore, and they're, they're kind of wavy and they get in the way of the air, so they need some exercise, they need a workout. Playing the didgeridoo gives your whole face a workout and also your throat and those muscles down there, and the more you play didgeridoo, those muscles, it's like an internal workout for them, 
and they get nice and strong and back into shape and no longer getting in the way of the air. <laughs> so you can learn how to play a really cool instrument and help yourself and there's no drugs, there's no machine, there's no insurance company, there's nothing involved. It's a, a really nice way of uh, helping your body in a natural way. Uh, it's a commitment though, you gotta play about a half an hour a day for five or six days a week. But if you're interested in that, pitsquatrone.com, check out my name.com. There's all kinds of stuff on my website. So, without further ado, <laughs> all right, we're gonna get to this one. So again, this goes out to Ellen down in Maryland. I hope you're tuning in, you said you would be. So this one, uh, let me get uncoiled here. It's the world's oldest instrument, and we got it hooked up to a saxophone microphone going through my PA in the, or Christopher, Chris Robertson's PA. <laughs> it's a borrowed equipment, and it's going through that, and then it's going to you through my phone into everyone's home. It, it's really incredible what we can do. It's, it's a, a TV studio right in my living room, through my phone, through the good friends at David Zuckerman's team, making it all happen, and you tuning in and digging it. So thank you once again for doing that. And uh, yeah, if you check out the video on, on YouTube, there's a lot of scenes of me bopping around Montpelier for this song, Moving. <laughs>
ding 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 Tell me my friends, is this all true? Do not let it happen to you. Come in your way to your downtown. If you get started, you may bound, you may move it. Constantly, frequently move it. Rapidly, awkwardly move it. I'm moving right now. Bop, beep, bop, 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 move it. Constantly, frequently move it. Rapidly, awkwardly moving. I'm moving right now. <laughs> ah, yes, friends. I am moving. I hope you are too. And we're warmed up, and we're gonna. We have a whole second half of music coming up right after the little break. And right now, uh, we're gonna throw it back to the studio. David Zuckerman has a, a fine message for you. I'm Pit Squatron, and we'll see you in about three minutes. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the break. I've really been enjoying this concert and learning experience around the didgeridoo. What a cool instrument. Thank you, Pitts, for giving us this show. If you're enjoying this concert, I hope you'll consider heading over to zuckermanforvt.com slash music for Vermont and make a contribution if you can to support Pitts as an artist, as a musician, and to help out our campaign and all of our virtual events. We're really grateful for Pitts for joining us today and, other, and yesterday as well and all the other musicians who have shared their talent on these Thursday night shows. You can make a donation to support them and the campaign. We'd really appreciate it. You can also visit our uh, website for our old shows and uh, enjoy those at any time. While Pitts is taking a little bit of a break, I wanna let you know about some new developments around COVID-19 in the state. Uh, we have learned about the $1.2 billion that the federal government has allocated for Vermont to use to help address the costs of the COVID-19 epidemic on Vermont. We'd love to hear your ideas around ways the state can use it. We as a government are looking at some of those already, added costs to our healthcare system, added costs to helping with unemployment and other arenas. But also we're looking for the experiences and the uh, system challenges you've had where you know it's costing us money. And we can submit those ideas because the state has to utilize as much of that $1.2 billion as it can legally do by the end of December, or else any extra money goes back to the feds. We've already been thinking of some creative ideas around education, maybe expanding broadband, maybe even helping buy um, computers for kids in, in homes that don't have them so they can get a good quality education. Anything that's been a cost created due to the COVID-19 experience as a system, we would love your ideas so that we can help get those implemented and get that money out the door. Some of those might even be related to health measures, physical distancing, or paying for health expenses, things like that. Uh, if you have ideas, please email them to info at zuckerman4vt.com. Again, that's info at zuckerman4vt.com. We'd love your ideas. You can actually email that address with any ideas around the future of Vermont, ideas that you have for Vermont, uh, ideas you'd like to see the campaign implement, the vision you have for Vermont. We are gonna be presenting a really bold vision for Vermont coming out of the COVID crisis and what the future can be. We welcome your ideas and questions. Just email that address. Ultimately, we've also gotten great ideas from individuals across the state and individuals are doing amazing things during this COVID crisis. The mutual aid groups, the small community efforts that are coming together. Some of those might need some state support as we go into the fall and into next winter. That's where we can have locally driven ideas with state support. And that's the kind of campaign we're gonna be running in the future I'd like to see in Vermont. In any case, before we get back to the music, please consider donating at Zuckerman4VT.com. Those donations will be split tonight 50-50 with Pitts Quattrone, a musician who's out, not able to do his regular performances and with the campaign to help us do our virtual events. We have virtual town halls, we have short, uh, video updates that we're doing with different experts in different fields. And we'd love to have any support you can give to help us uh, make this campaign possible in everyone's living room. I wanna thank you for your support. I also wanna thank everyone for doing your part towards helping 
reduce the impact of COVID-19 in our community, continuing to wash your hands, wearing that mask whenever you're out in public, out in the park, whether you're going to the store, all of these things that we're doing and you're doing are helping keep people safe and healthy. Thank you for doing your part. I hope you are safe and healthy during this time. We're protecting our most vulnerable. We're all in it together. And let's all be in this music together with Pitts Quatrone tonight playing the didgeridoo. Thank you, Pitts, for joining us. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And let's get back to the show and have a good time. Hello, friends, and welcome back. <laughs> so uh, I got a drink of water. <laughs> I hope you did, too. You get ready for the uh, second part of the show. My name is Pitts Quattrone. Uh, thanks again one more time to David Zuckerman and his team for inviting me on to this fantastic virtual concert series every Thursday night at 7.30. They also do a children's one Wednesday mornings at 10.30, so check that out. And more information about David and his campaign at Zuckerman4VT.com, and that is F-O-R-V-T.com. And donations coming in, thank you so much. Super appreciate that. The uh, address for donations is up on the top of the screen, I'm told. <laughs> and that, that is uh, Zuckerman4VT.com backslash music for VT. And all the uh, money that comes in is split 50-50 between the artist and David and his team. And uh, that what they do with their money, that half of the money is, uh, is used to produce these virtual events and um, ensure that they're making all of the content available to the public. So as soon as these concerts are over, they're captured and they go on YouTube and Facebook and you can go check out those, kind of like a podcast. It's there, it's an archive thing. You can go back to it, check it out anytime you like. So all that made possible through your donations, helping the artists, because we're out of work now. We can't go out and perform and uh, to keep the concert series going here. David and his team pump the money right back into the cause so we have more and more Events. Yay! <laughs> Remember live concerts? <laughs> My God. It seems like, I don't know, it seems like so long ago and it's only been like a month and a half or something, but man, everything has changed. But uh, maybe some things uh, needed a, a boost and, and to be changed. So, speaking of that, <laughs> beautiful segue here. <laughs> August 11th is the primary here in Vermont for the Democratic uh, nominee for governor. So go out there and vote August 11th. I've, I've been always supporting David in his elections, at least the statewide one. We live in different counties, so the statewide ones, yes, I'm a, a big supporter of David. So check it out. August 11th is the primary, Democratic primary. Get out there and do your thing. Well which is vote, yes. Okay, all right, taking care of some business there. And uh, we're gonna get into some groovy kind of stuff this second half of the show. Bring in my boy. Mm. Oh. All right, so we're warmed up. We're gonna go through all those motions already. So now we're going to kick in. The rest of the show. Here we go. Boop.
the second half of the show. You may recognize this number, and if you do, sing along with me. run home bullets start chasing and I begin to stop by we began to wrestle and I was on the top Again, Sly Stone Classic. And yes, I live truly to that number. Ah, uh, yes. So, my name is Bit Squatron, and um, a couple of things uh, musically. Um, I do this by myself. I have a duo with Chris Robertson, fantastic slide guitar player, and that duo is called Didgery Groove. And there's uh, information on the website about Didgery Groove as well. And there's a full five-piece band that gets together every once in a while. Pitts Quattrone and the Freelancers. That's like the big festival act uh, kind of thing. 
So multiple ways, and I play with a lot of other people and a lot of different types of music and get uh, uh, able to plug the didgeridoo into a lot of different things and it's fantastic. I love putting the didgeridoo in a lot of different styles of music and uh, when it locks in, man, it's just, it's magic. It's, it, it glues everything together. It's the foundation, uh, whether it's jazz, classical, funk, hip hop, folk, blues, R&B, doesn't matter. Check out my website. There's a couple of videos in there. There's a demo one where I'm playing with a lot of different types of people around the earth. All kinds of music, didgeridoo, is in there doing a really cool thing. So, <clears throat> I'm very lucky that this instrument picked me and said, hey pal, let's go, we're going for a lifetime of fun. <laughs> And I'm glad I was awake enough <clears throat> to say, yes, let's go. All right, so we're quickly running out of time. But anyway, uh, so this, this next number, brand new, brand new number for these kooky, kooky, crazy times we live in. <laughs> so why not write a song about it and hopefully it gets, a, it's a public awareness thing, really. It's a public service announcement, a PSA, but it's in a fun message. And uh, let's see if we can dial this one in here. And we'll get it to you. And I actually, there's a brand new video on my YouTube page um, with this. Just recorded it this past weekend. So, and it's got another catchy chorus. Could you imagine? <laughs> another catchy chorus. And I'm all caught up here. Another catchy chorus, but it's a good message, and I played this yesterday at the kids' show, and I know there's kids already singing this song, and practicing the good values that I'm stressing in this number. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> turn those drums up just a bit. Now, this chorus comes around multiple times and you'll catch it after the first time, hopefully. If not the second, maybe the sixth. <laughs> All right. Cleanliness is the key. And keeping your germs to yourself is the theme. I'm washing, I'm masking, I'm sanitizing, washing, Masking, I'm sanitizing. A new day, a different way that we move along. Doing my part, hearing my heart, help me sing this song. I'm washing, I'm masking, I'm sanitizing. Washing, masking, I'm sanitizing. Change the scene, you know what I mean, to get through the day. We all make new, me and you, live in this new way. I'm washing, I'm masking, I'm sanitizing. Washing, masking, I'm sanitizing. I'm masking, I'm sanitizing, washing, masking, I'm sanitizing. A new day, a different way that we move along. Doing my part, hear my heart, help me sing the song. I'm washing, I'm masking, I'm sanitizing, washing, masking, I'm sanitizing, I'm washing, I'm masking. I'm sanitizing, washing, masking, I'm sanitizing. Feeling clean.
mean? <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> All right. So we got one or two more songs. I don't want to take up too much time, but I'm having a blast. I hope you guys are digging what I'm doing. And I can't see the screen for any comments as we go. But uh, I think I'm going to play two more songs. And the last one was uh, requested by multiple people. But first, we have something to get to just before that. And uh, it's something you'll definitely recognize that I put my own twist on. And a lot of the, so the, uh, the music, drum beats, bass lines, guitar that you hear that are coming out of this machine I have right here, a lot of them are done by Chris Robertson. You got to check out Chris. He's in downtown Montpelier, fantastic slide guitar player, super talented, my buddy, my brother. We do the didgery groove thing together, and he has his own children's show called Chris R. and the Flying Purple Guitar that he does a lot of work with uh, the Washington County Family Center, which he works there during the day, but he also does uh, some music helping out the kids there. So the point is, Chris R. is inside this box. <laughs> He's not here because we are separately uh, being ourselves far away from each other and not uh, contaminating anyone. Anyway, so a lot of the sounds, Chris R. And this one, I think you'll recognize. Um, here we go.
said fire on the mountain, fire in the sky, fire in the valley, fire in your eye. Fire on the mountain, fire on the ground, fire on the landscape, fire all around. Fire on the mountain, fire in the air, there's fire in your face, there's fire everywhere, won't you tell me? Ooh, tell me fire! for you, my friends, done in a very special way. <laughs> Again, my name is Pitz Quattrone, and uh, the donation little imagey thing is at the top of your screen. If you can uh, drop some money in there, that'd be great to help us out. Again, it's a 50-50 split between uh, David Zuckerman's team putting on these virtual concerts, and the other half goes to the artist that is there. Every Thursday night, 7.30, every Wednesday morning at 10.30, right here on the Facebook and YouTube channels of the good Lieutenant Governor of Vermont, David Zuckerman. How about that? Yeah. Okay. So this next one, it, it, it's going to be my last one, and I, it was requested by Dan Brown and a few other people. <laughs> it's like, you know what, dude? I heard that song a month ago, and it's in my head, and I can't get it out. <laughs> so... Um, getting back to uh, my Philadelphia roots, Chris Robertson, my uh, musical partner in a lot of things, uh, he's also from Philly. We both have lived in Vermont for 20 or 30 years. Uh, we, there's a couple things we miss about the Philadelphia area. Um, not a lot, believe me. <laughs> we're so psyched to be here, and we're very happy to be here. So, But there's two things that uh, we miss that we just can't get here. And they are cheese steaks and tasty cakes. Tyrone Green used to rock. American 
You got that chords in your head already? <laughs> Here we go. Not talking about no steak and cheese, no sub, club, hero, grinder, if you please. What I crave is an amoroso hokey roll. I take mine with you. You go get your own. Go get your cheese sticks and taste the cakes. 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 <laughs> All right, friends, there it is. Cheesesteaks and Tasty Cakes, the soon-to-be anthem of Philadelphia. So if you know anyone from Philly that would dig that song, send them <laughs> that song. Go to YouTube, Cheesesteaks and Tasty Cakes on my site. It's all over there. So send that forward to your Philadelphia friends. I know they would totally dig it. I think uh, we're just about out of time, but thanks to Dan and Meg and David Zuckerman, everyone, Isaac and the tech crew, everyone who made tonight possible, and uh, I'm Pitts Quattrone. I am so thankful that you have tuned in, and maybe, uh, hopefully, I, I brought a smile to your face, because it felt really good here doing this for you. But thanks once again, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>